All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what schema markup is and why you should implement it on your website for SEO reasons and then how to actually create it and implement it as well. So let's get right into it. So schema markup, it's also known as structured data. And basically it's code that helps search engines understand what the content on your website is. So obviously search engines are not humans. They can't exactly see and read the content like we can. So this type of code allows them to better understand what kind of content is actually on your website, what the whole website's about and some other details so that it can actually display it more correctly on the search results and to users. It also allows you to add rich snippets which can appear in Google search results. So an example of that is like review stars. So if we go to Google and we type in, let's say plumber in Miami, what you'll see here is that on some of these results, you can see these guys have a star rating and basically they've done this by implementing schema into the website with the review stars and the review rating. And so now it shows up in Google search. So that's an example of what you can do with schema and structured data. Now, basically you can find everything that you need to know about schema on schema.org. I'm going to put this link in the description below as well. So if you want to open this up, you can go ahead and read everything on this website. It's also got a generator, etc., so that you can make it. And I'm going to go into that in a second. And another thing you'll want to make a note of is the list of all the types of schema that Google supports. So I'm going to put this link below as well. This allows you to see See all of the different types that Google will actually show because there are other types of schema, but Google's not necessarily going to show them. So in theory, it probably won't help you in any way. However, these will show up in Google search results. So you need to be aware of that if you want to put the time into making it. Now, how does schema affect SEO? So schema doesn't directly affect SEO. However, what it does is it will help Google understand your content better, which can mean that it can display it for more relevant keywords and help you indirectly that way by showing it for more correct search results. Now, the other thing as well is it will help increase your CTR. If you have rich snippets, such as the five star review, like I showed you earlier, there's also instances where you can show like product boxes. So how do you implement schema? So there's a few ways that you can actually implement schema. First, you're going to need to generate the actual code. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use Google's tool, which helps you do it, or you can use something like chat GPT. So I'm going to show you both ways to do it. So first let's go chat GPT. You would just open it up or any other AI tool that you want to use Bard or whatever, and you can just just simply type in something like please make me schema code for a dentist in New York so you would obviously use whatever's appropriate to your particular website or your business you would type that in here and what it's going to do is it's going to spit out the code that you need to paste into your website so you can see here one note here about this is you want to make sure that you've got this within the script tags like that so that you can actually just paste it onto your website but basically you can see here it's now just spat out the whole code now you'd obviously want to make sure that you've got the name of the business correct the address and everything is actually accurate so you'd need to go through here and actually fill out all this information so if you give chat gpt the correct information information to begin with, it will fill this all out for you. So you know, you could say, please make me schema code for a dentist in New York called best dentist NY address 5645 Main Street, email info at best dentist and why.com etc and you'd fill out all the details and what it'll do it'll spit out what you need so we'll, we'll take a look here and you'll see what i mean you can see here now you got the name best dentist and why you've got the street address the correct street address you'll need to obviously add the zip code because it's not real but you get the point info is correct they've even it's even assumed what the website is and done everything else so as long as you give it the correct data it's going to implement the correct data here and then you can just literally take this code and put it on your website so that's the first way to do it the second way to do it is you can use google's tool here so let's say for instance we got local business i'll just type in my blog now yeah it wouldn't be a local business in this case but this is just an example and you put it in here and google allows you to go through and get all the details and make the code for you so i'll show you how to do that quickly so it'll pull up a, your website like this. And basically what you can do is you can highlight the text and see, then you can go name, Let's see if we can do image and you can see as you are adding it, it'll add it to here. So let's say for instance, we want to go email. I can go down to the bottom and go, this is the email kind of glitching out for me for some reason, but you would do that and you'd press email and then obviously it would add it there. Let's say we want to go to if you had your address, you, you could just highlight, like, let's pretend this is the address. I could go address, street address, and it'll add it to that section there. So you can see that it's added it there. Let's say this is the phone number. You can add that there. And you'd go through and add all of the different sections that you want to include, open hours, etc. And then once you've done all that, you would go create HTML. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to spit out the code. You can see here, this is the code. 
And so now you can copy that script code. It's very similar to what ChatGPT spat out. You could just copy that and now you could put it on your website. So now that you've actually got the code, what you wanna do is you'd implement it on the actual website itself. So you need to paste it in the head section of your website. So what you would wanna do is go to the website, go to admin. And now depending on what platform you're using, you'd need to go into wherever you can add the code into the head of the website. So for mine, for instance, it would be under settings and then it would be header and footer scripts and WordPress, cause I'm using that plugin. And you can see I've got some code here. Now what I can do is I could go and chuck that in there and then I would hit save. And then that would now display the schema code on my website so that Google could read it. So that's how you implement it on the website. And then the last thing you'd wanna do is go and actually validate it on google.com here in this one here. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description as well. And what you could do is you can either paste the URL or paste a direct code in. So I'm just gonna paste the code in and hit test code. And it's gonna tell you if this is actually valid or not, if it can read it. And now you can see that it's tested the code and it's told me that it's got the valid schema code here the only thing is sometimes it'll pull up maybe some non-critical issues so for instance mine is missing an image field and the price range which are both optional so you don't necessarily have to worry about it but it'll let you know if there's any issues here so that's basically it so once that says it's valid you should be good to go and that basically means you've got the correct code implemented on your website so that's basically an overview of what schema is and how to use it obviously this can get quite complex because there's a lot of different areas of schema that you can implement and put in here so you you would want to go through this website, check out all the different options you have, what you can actually fill in. It gets quite in depth depending on like the different topics and what the schema is for, what type of business, etc. Same thing with the Google documentation. So you probably want to check these out and see which ones you want to include. But that's an overview of how you would do it and actually put it onto your website. So if you have any questions about this, just put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO or Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to get you results with SEO and Google ads for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.